the greatest show on earth. Baz Luhrmann coming in hot with his Elvis biopic and holy cow. That was quite a grand spectacle. opius <laughs> spectacle. That's a great way to put it. Elvis, I mean, you know the story and a lot of people know the story more than others. So this is a great way to get those that are uninitiated with the story of Elvis and give us a very quick glimpse of the man, the myth, the legend and the music. That's the big thing about this movie. For me, it was the music. It came down to the score and the soundtrack. The way that they mixed the actual score with the original songs that Elvis sang, the way that it was connected connected through the influence of blues, soul, and rhythm in the African American community through the ages. For me, it was very well done and very open when it came to the influence that it did have on Elvis. I feel like this is the only way that you could really do Elvis. Like Elvis himself was a spectacle when he was on stage. He was a sight to behold and I feel like this movie did it in a way that felt very Elvis. Yeah, and of course you'd expect a biopic to focus on Elvis as a person, but I think the real big thing they did was focus on him as a performer, because like that's who Elvis is, Like he's one of the greatest performers of all time. And I have to say that Austin Butler did a phenomenal job. I think he just stole the show. He, I will be very upset if he does not get a war buzz at all, because he was phenomenal. Across the board too, because Tom Hanks is the colonel, Wow, like it, it transformed, Tom Hanks did. And I love that, you know, this movie is primarily, for the most part, from his perspective. And they don't sugarcoat it when it comes to the role that the Colonel played in the life of Elvis. So getting, you know, this artistic representation, out, you know, as it is, but it still was very, in my opinion, factual of what took place during the ages. So uh, the fact that it was really a story that maybe we have seen time and time again when it comes to those artists that are above the music itself, the art itself, and they transcend uh, everything that they, the gifts that they give to us in the form of song and the tragedy that sometimes befalls on those uh, icons in society so this one definitely does a fantastic job of doing it as well as giving it to us in such an artistic and creative way just in the cinematography the costumes the settings it was all well done yeah the different transitions between his life and everything that was going around him too especially with life events that happened during that time right. um it, it it i felt like it worked well in the movie because it was kind of in the, you know, the perspective of Elvis sure. in a little bit instead of, but you know, he touched on it in the movie because sure. you know, it was part of life that happened during that time. Right. Yeah, and obviously you'd expect him to show Elvis as this mythological, legendary performer, but also like, they, they didn't pull any punches at all. Right. Um, they showed that his life is tragic and you, you have to do it. You can't tell the story without doing that. But guys, I definitely recommend checking out Elvis if you're into the story, just if you're into the music, not just Elvis's music. Like I said, when it comes to soul, when it comes to blues, when it comes to rhythm and the incorporation in society in what was the age of that era of music so definitely check it out you can also like and subscribe and did a thing on our facebook twitter tumblr instagram discord all the social networking gin joints you know where they are kick into the party fuel the party keep the party going on our patreon check out nat's info down in the description of this video thank you so much and as always now it's time to say goodbye this party is over bye elvis has left the building <laughs>